UFC 301 this weekend, Pantoja versus Ursig. Stick around to hear my thoughts. I'm Wyatt and this is Fight Society. All right, guys, so this weekend, Pantoja versus Ursig, the weakest pay-per-view that we're gonna get this year, but hey, it's fine, it's fine. 299, incredible. 300, best card of all time. 301, not gonna be great, but they bounce back with Islam Poirier and Strickland Costa at 302. And then we get Connor at 303. And then we're gonna get 304 is most likely gonna be England. We're probably gonna get Leon Bilal and Tom Aspinall on that card and against somebody for interim title defense. 305 is gonna be in Australia. That's gonna be Izzy DDP, I think. Potentially Vulcan Taporia as well, or and or. This is just a lacking pay-per-view. It is what it is. We sacrificed this card for 300. I'll trade it happily. Now, this is a strange matchup because Urseg is ranked 10th. He's coming off of a Matt Schnell KO at the Apex which is a good win. Like it's a stamp, this guy's good type of win, KOing a, a top 10 ranked um, guy in your division. But Pantoja, and Pantoja's beat most of the guys that are ranked. He's beat Moreno three times. He's beat Royval twice. Like they just got to get somebody in there. They probably wanted Manel Cop to be have a, having a title shot by now, but he can't make weight and he can't make it to a fight when he when he would make weight. So, whatever. Manel Cop sucks. He can't make it to a fight. Whatever. That's fine. Here, so here we are. Champ versus tenth ranked, somewhat untested Urseg. Ultra Lord is going to be getting his big shot here. Stylistically, Pantoja is just so much better than everybody in this division. I think that he is very good on the feet, but mostly a dominant jujitsu player and wrestler. Steve Ursig has good striking, and I think that he could catch Pantoja, but I don't think that there is a huge shot for this. Look, like Ursig is new, young, he's relatively untested. He hasn't gotten that like number one contenders fight to prove that he should be in this fight. Matt Schnell's not a title contender. Matt Schnell is a little chinny anyways, but it was a great win, exciting win to get a title shot. I just don't think that he's been there, done that enough. Urseg, I mean, has been there and done that enough to really prove that he that he has anything for Pantoja. Pantoja has been fighting elite flyweights, dominating the division, and this is his division for now. I don't see him losing this fight. If you look at the top 10 here for flyweight, he's beat Roy Vol twice, Moreno three times. You have Nicolau and Perez are about to fight. Manel Cops always hurt. He's a ways off from a title shot. Tim Elliott is fighting Tatsudo Taira. Muhammad Makayev, he wanted this fight, but you can't get a boring decision win over inactive Alex Perez where you just stay on your knees the whole time so the guy can't, knee in the face. Makayev needs a more exciting win to get a title shot. He was bitching like crazy, thinking he deserved this fight. But bro, you're ranked seventh and you got a boring win, all right? Steve Ursa got a KO on the same card, all right? So shut your mouth. Now, Pantoja, I think he beats most of these guys, if not all of them. I think Makayev could give him a hard time from a grappling standpoint. Albazi's injured still. He had a neck injury. Albazi could give him a tough fight. But Steve Ursig's what we got right now. So it is what it is. And this is where we're at. 301's going to be a rough one. But my official prediction here is that Pantoja dominates five round decision, winning four or five rounds. I could see him gassing and Ursig having some moments later in the fight. But Ursig has never fought five rounds in the UFC. And he could get submitted. I don't know how good his grappling is, but I think that Pantoja is going to dominate win by sub or by dominant decision. So that's my official prediction is that Alexandre, Alexandre, my prediction is that Alexandre Pantoja is going to defend his flyweight strap and move on to another title defense later in the year, probably six months from now, co-main event. That's what they usually do with these flyweight fights. Um, this was supposed to be the co-main event to Jamal Hill and Alex Pereira, but they moved that one up an event to 300. But Pantoja is going to defend. That's my official prediction. Let me know your thoughts down below. If you like this video and you want more content just like this, click that subscribe button down below. If you want more content from me, go check out my weekly comedy podcast, The Hissy Fit Podcast, 
and go check out my personal channel, Wyatt's World. Go watch this suggested video and I'll see you next time.